Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Touch App Reviewers. In this video, I have kind of an odd review for you guys. I know you guys are used to iPhone reviews, app reviews, and stuff like that, but I am a car guy and I am into car stuff. So I'm going to do a review on the Whistler Pro 78SE High Performance Radar Detector. So uh, before I get into this, I do want to um, uh, give a couple shout outs. First to uh, Radar Roy, who uh, passed away. He actually is the one that kind of got me into radars and radar detectors a uh, long time ago. Uh, probably about three years ago when I first got my car, three or four years ago. And um, yeah, so I wanted one and he was uh, the biggest YouTuber at the time and his videos are still really, um, they have a lot of really good information. So I definitely recommend you guys check him out as well as Vortex Radar. Now, Radar Roy has in the past kind of been, there's some rumors that went around that he had been paid to, you know, promote some different detectors and stuff, but, you know, take his videos with a grain of salt and then also check out Vortex Radar. I'll have both of them linked in the description below. Both are very good resources. Now into this review. So these are my personal thoughts on the Whistler Pro 78 SE uh, high performance radar detector. So before I start off, I do want to show you that this is on Amazon. It is $151. This is the one that I have. This is what it looks like. Uh, when you click on it, it looks a little bit different. It has this updated LEDs uh, screen. So I don't know, I guess this is what you'll get if you order it these days. Uh, this is probably a little bit classier than mine. But before I go into this, I know a lot of my viewers are not radar detector savvy, so I'm going to go over just a little bit of the basic information. So a radar detector is not a cop detector, okay? It does not detect cops, it detects radars. So if a cop is using a radar actively, it will detect it uh, more than likely within a certain range. Uh, and it will, in theory, provide you enough time to slow down and go within the speed limit or, you know, if you're speeding or if you're not speeding, just to kind of alert you that there's a cop around. Um, so let's just get that out of the way. Next up, there are four bands. There's X band, K band, K A band, and laser. Those are the four main ones in the United States that are going, you're going to get hit with, um, by cops. So, uh, X band, I've never been hit from a cop, uh, with X band. So never have I ever had a cop hit me with X band. So that's almost always an automatic door, like at Walgreens or Walmart. There's automatic sliding doors. If you get K-band alert, it's probably that. So there are false alerts. K-band, that is kind of 50-50. That could be a Walgreens door, sliding door, a Walmart door, um, or it could be a cop. I have had cops. I do live in the Cincinnati, Ohio area. Um, and in my area, uh, locally, there have been some cops that use K-band. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That's just how they roll. However, there's also K-A band, which is the third band, and that one is always a cop. I've never had that be anything other than a cop. So when I hear that, I hit the brakes immediately. So um, luckily this detector actually does a really good job at detecting KA bands, but I'll get into more into that in a second. Lastly, there's laser. Cops have been using laser because it's a little bit more um, accurate and it's, it's a little bit more stealthy. So basically what laser is, is they shoot directly at your car. It is not on all the time. So if a cop's driving around, he will probably keep his radar on. So while his detect, while his radar is on, uh, you know, if you're a mile away on a straight road, you can probably detect that and slow down lasers. It's instant on. So he's sitting at the side of the road with his gun and he points it at you. Your detector's not going off. He shoots it at you. Then your detector goes off. Well, guess what? He's already got your speed by that time. So you really laser detectors are kind of, I don't know. They're kind of useless, but it's kind of useful. I don't know. It's a 50, 50 shot. So, um, in my experience, I do want to quickly go over uh, my record here. I have been pulled over twice. Once was a warning. Uh, this detector actually did its job perfectly. I was getting hit with K, I think it was just K band. I saw the cop, he got behind me and uh, uh, he was riding my ass for like a mile and I kept slowly going faster like, cause he was clearly in a rush. And I know cops can get somewhere. They don't have to turn on their lights. They might just be in a rush to get to a scene that nece doesn't necessarily need their lights. I was trying, I thought I was being nice. So I kind of sped up for him. I was doing five over. And he pulled me over and I was like, dude, you're riding my ass. And he's like, oh yeah, okay. I'll just give you a warning. I'm like, all right, whatever. Then the other time I got pulled over doing 90 and a 65 uh, on the highway and the dude hit me with a hefty fine and that sucked. This did not detect me that time. It did not give me any detections. That time um, he was using a Pro Laser 3 in case you're wondering. Uh, I think he just missed the detector when he shot me uh, with the uh, laser. I think he was just because uh, they shoot, they aim down towards your fog lights, your lights, your front license plate, if you have one. Um, and this detector, I dash mount mine. I don't put it in the windshield, so I don't think it even got it. So it is what it is. Take it as you will. I think that this thing has saved me overall between 400 and $600 in tickets at least. So 
I think it's paid for itself. I paid on February 26, 2013. I ordered it from Amazon. I paid $178, I believe. Uh, I did see this thing for $80. Yes, $80 here on Amazon about three weeks ago. And uh, I urged my friend to get it, but he didn't. So it's back up to 151. It might drop again. I'll have a link to this exact detector down below in the description if you want to pick it up. Um, anyways, let's get on with the review. Enough talking. So I've had this obviously since about February uh, 2013. So I've been using it for over three years now. And uh, I love it. I think it is great. I do think that this is a mid-range detector. I'm going to urge you, if you are looking at a detector right now, do not get a Cobra detector. They're trash. They're not that good. Um, I've watched reviews on them. They're usually not good. All the ones you see in Walmart or AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts that are like $30 to $60, stay away from those. Those are almost always the Cobras, and they're always they're just not good. The range on them sucks. You want something that's at least mid-range like this one. This is about as low of price as I would go for a detector. It's around 100, uh, 130 to 150 is the lowest I would go for pricing. So if you don't have that money, just save up a little bit for about a month or two. Don't speed, you know, whatever. Just watch yourself. Then get one, get yourself one of these and it, uh, have your protection. So anyways, this detects uh, laser Atlanta stealth mode, high performance, three filter modes, uh, IntelliCord ready, vehicle battery saver, which I will go over in a minute. I actually thought that that was a bad thing. Uh, but anyways, total band protection, uh, exclusive twin alert periscopes right here, this and this. Those are little LEDs, uh, which are kind of helpful if your music is up really loud and you're not listening for this thing. Uh, but this thing does have really loud sound, so I will say that right off the bat. Telecord ready, like I said, real voice alerts, RSID features. So this thing, I'm going to say this right off the bat. It gives a ton of false alerts. False alerts are crazy with this thing. So anytime you go past a Walgreens or Walmart, um, it's going to give you a false alert, uh, probably. You have to be smart on your own, you know, you have to be smart on your own to know where it would be acceptable for there to be a K or KA band reading. Now, in my case, I kind of know my area, so I know exactly where it is. Now, I keep mine in highway mode, which means it's super, super sensitive. So it'll pick up anything, and I personally like that. I like it to tell me everything. Like, although it is kind of like the boy who cried wolf, like, like you'll kind of ignore it like after a while, which is bad. But when you know when you get a KA band, you'll really uh, almost always slow down. So I don't know. It is what it is, guys. Uh, blue text display. I do like that a lot. Uh, the blue text does look pretty sick. Um, I wouldn't want any other color to be honest with you. Uh, it does have different filter modes you can put onto this thing. Uh, it does have auto dim mode, which is nice. It's got a little ambient sensor in it, which will, uh, you know, if it's dark out, it'll lower the, uh, display brightness a little bit, which is nice. It's like on your phones, uh, telecord ready, which I don't use real voice alerts. Now this thing does have really nice real voice alerts. However, I will warn you if you have a girlfriend in your car or a family member, um, like in my case, every time that I've got someone in my car, that's not used to being there or, you know, whatever, for whatever reason. And my detector goes off. They're like, ah, that's so annoying, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, it's going to save me money. First of all, if I'm speeding and also, uh, you know, it's not that annoying because I've gotten used to it now. Um, personally, I don't mind it, but like I said, uh, in previous, in previous experience, whenever I have a girlfriend in the car or a family member, they will complain a little bit. So you have to be aware of that but there is an auto quiet mode. So if you put it on auto quiet, it will beep, you know, a couple times at full volume, but then, you know, after like three or four beeps, it uh, lowers the volume, which is nice. So that always uh, shuts up the uh, annoying passengers that get annoyed with your detector. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, X-band, blah, blah, blah. Low profile alert periscopes. Like I said, th these little thingies up here, they are little uh, LEDs uh, to give you a visual alert, two extra LEDs, yeah, yeah, it's great three city modes and a highway mode. Um, personally, I never have changed mine. I've always kept it in highway mode. Uh, so you can read here for yourself what the city modes does. It basically will try to get rid of or reduce the annoyance of automatic door openers and burglar alarm alerts. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I might actually try city mode uh, when I'm in the city, but honestly, I just leave it on highway mode. Stay alert uh, feature designed to driver's alertness within 30 to 60 seconds. After the feature is engaged, an alert sounded to show alertness. Driver must press the volume, blah, blah. That's uh, dumb. Quiet, auto quiet modes. I already uh, talked about that. Alert priority. So when two or more signals are received at the same time, the priority is laser, VG2, speed radar, and safety radar. So, you know, it does give you a little bit of um, stuff. So if X-band is alerting, then suddenly VG2 is detected. The VG2 warning will override the X-band alert. That's good. Vehicle battery saver mode. So this is a little story mode here. I was taking an 11-hour road trip, 
and at the three hour mark exactly, it turned off, of course, because it's battery saver mode, it thought I left it on. And it makes this really weird noise, and as you can see, audible and visual warning. And I thought the thing was just dying on me. As I'm, you know, three hours into this long road trip, I'm like, fuck. You know, I'm just, I just lost my detector. It turned off and everything. I thought maybe it blew a fuse. So I tried to replace the fuse uh, in it while I was driving, which was a bad idea, but I got it done and it didn't fix it. And I tried pressing the button on the side and I was like, oh man, I really need this thing on this trip. So, you know, I had to slow down for a little bit and uh, until finally I figured out that, you know, I was, uh, I may or may not have been reading uh, the manual for this thing while I was on my trip. But uh, yeah, so I read about it and I saw the battery saver mode. I was like, oh, could be that. So I uh, power cycled it and it fixed it. I don't believe that unplugging it and plugging it back in fixed it because that would have been super easy. Uh, so I think, uh, I don't know, I forget what I did, but I, there's a button on it I think I pressed and it reset it. So yeah, battery saver mode, just be aware, you know, press a button on it every once in a while so it doesn't turn off or if it does turn off, just reset it. Uh, safety warning system, SWS, I don't really use that. And what's in the box? The Whistler Pro SE, power cord, direct wire kit, windshield mount, which I don't use, dash pad, which I do use, and the user manual. So overall, the reviews on this thing, pretty positive, actually. Um, a lot of people, you know, they don't like the false alarms, whatever. But overall, my experience has been pretty good, like these guys. Um, I've not really had many issues with this. I did have to replace, I think, I had to replace the cord on it, which was a little bit of a pain to get. But other than that, it's good. Now, I'm going to talk about price models. For this thing, it's $150. Like I said, I wouldn't go lower than that. There are, you know, Valentine ones, Escort Max 360s or Passports, whatever they're called. Um, Beltronics makes some. There's all, Redenza. There's all types of different brands that are, you know, a lot more expensive, three, four, five hundred, six hundred dollars uh, If you want to go that route, go for it. But if you're just kind of, you know, you speed sometimes, but you also just kind of want, you know, having one of these, it's better than not. Like, why would you ever not want to know where a cop is? Like, even if you are following the law, like, okay, it's nice to at least know where the cop's at so you can be on your best behavior kind of thing. Because who knows, you might be going five over and you might not even know it, and this thing will just keep you uh, alert. So personally, I will not drive without a radar detector in my car. I just won't do it. If this thing breaks, I'm going to be going out and I will be getting, I don't know, maybe a Valentine one or something like way more expensive than this, but I will be definitely getting another one uh, of some type. But... For a first time radar detector user, I definitely would recommend this one. If it drops to 80 bucks, highly recommend it. If it's if this thing's at 80 bucks, it's a steal. So I say just just get it. Don't even think about it if this thing drops to 80 bucks. But like I said, links in the description. I would monitor this thing, put it in your cart, uh, and then you can put it on you can after you put it in your cart, you can remove it from your cart and it saves it for later. That thing will give you price drop alerts. So I would recommend that too. Um, but overall my impressions, I think that it is worth uh the 150 dollars if you a don't you're not like a speed enthusiast like you're not always going out drag racing um you just occasionally speed and you just want a little bit of extra protection and you don't mind the false alerts if you are super picky about false alerts get something better that has a gps module in it so it will block out all of the false alerts for you uh those are more expensive three four five hundred six hundred dollars but you know you get that added added benefit um and just don't get anything less than $150. If you do, you're going to probably be sorry. I mean, it's just, it's not going to be good for you. So, and stay away from Cobra. So this thing overall is, uh, if I had to buy this thing again, would I do it? Absolutely. Uh, I think it is a great radar detector. You can watch other reviews on it. Um, but overall it saved me a bunch and, uh, the K band and KA band readings, they've always been really good. Like I can get pretty good range. I live in a kind of a hilly area and I can still get decent range. If I'm on a flat road, uh, it's just, it's great. I can get I can get a cop rating uh, KA band reading from probably a mile or so away. Like, it's great. But if I'm on like a hilly, curvy road, I can still probably get, you know, at least five seconds advance before, you know, before I see the cop. So my experiences of this have been all positive. Like, I don't really have any negatives besides the annoyance factor, which you kind of get over. So um, you know, it is what it is, guys. I know speeding on the highway is a pay-to-play kind of game. You either pay for one of these and uh, have a little bit of a heads up or you get hit with a ticket and your insurance goes up and all that bullshit. So personally, I would recommend the $150 investment or more if you want to get a better one. But that's really all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.